Hey guys, Stjin here and welcome back to Let's Build Erebor. Now you'll remember that we're working on the town in the shadow of Lonely Mountain. That's the town of Dale and it's just outside of Erebor and we've been working on this for probably a bit too long now. So what I've said to myself is that I want to finish this up within the next two episodes. So this episode we're going to finish up the rich district, get those last mansions built. But then beyond that we're going to fill up the residential area, finish up the trade area and then fill in the areas in between with some nice vegetation and some nice kind of decoration. So here we go, we're scrolling past the, the mansion garden there, you see the recreational area in the rich district. But those three houses, the bare bones, the foundations of those last three mansions, are what we're going to be building today. So we'll start off with this mansion here on the corner. Now what I've done here is I've put down two kind of thick square sandstone blocks. And these are going to become like kind of castle turrets on the side of this mansion because the rich area in Dale, the rich folks here are going to be building their buildings basically based on kind of foreign buildings. They're going to be not too kind of familiar to the other buildings in Dale. So we're going to have like a bit of an exotic kind of feel to these. So I'm just building up with dark stone brick, which is cracked stone brick, but retextured for the texture pack which I use, which is photorealism. And now that I've gone up two floors, I'm going to finish up here with a traditional red peaked roof. And then once the roof is in place, build up these turrets at the corners of the building. Now again, I'm making them too thick and out of sandstone. And what building a tower like this too thick does is it means I can actually dig into it once the tower is complete to add detail like you see me doing here by just digging into the block and just carving out the detail without compromising the shape of the structure. And I'm toying around here with light stone brick, dark stone brick, sandstone, etched sandstone, just trying to work out what gets the best effect. Because I want these to be kind of like castle-like edges to the house here, to the mansion. But I also want it to look kind of like, uh, like ho quite homely. So I've gone with, in the end, I think, corners and frame out of light stone brick, and then the main walls and some of the steps out of light sandstone, just traditional sandstone brick. And here you see me carving into the tower as well, adding some windows. And of course using weld edit, copy and paste to make sure that I get the same tower on the other corner of the house. And there you go, two completed towers, a roof and walls completely in place. All that was left to do now was to go around to the flower boxes. Add some upside down wooden steps on the bottom of the first floor. And here you see me adding roses to those flower boxes, carving out the windows with sandstone steps, and getting a bit freaky when I use the wooden axe tool to copy and paste the windows to so kind of save myself a little bit of time because time is of the essence if we want to get Dale built pretty soon. And I really do because I really want to get inside the mountain. I really want to start carving out those dwarven halls because this place needs, Erebor needs to be built. At the moment it's just Dale and it's been Dale for about 15 episodes and that's not really what I set out to build with this project. So we need to get back on track and back on mission. And now that the structure's built, I kind of dig out this path in the middle, turn the stone brick into grass as we make the garden, put down some cobblestone half blocks for the road, add some half block steps as pavement and steps to the front door and then I add this little balcony section here at the corner. A nice place for these rich folks to come out and look at their garden and stare out at the, at the kind of the rest of Dale. And then once the doors were in place it was time to come around the front add some bone meal and some trees and of course oak leaves as hedges. Right and that's the first house pretty much built. So, stage two. Now I'm moving on to this, this the larger house and the, uh, the second largest house on the left. Now for the house on the right, I'm going to go for a very western kind of feel to it. But the house on the left is going to be just a traditional kind of weird manor mansion kind of thing. Now I put down some pillars out the front of the, uh, at the front of the house and that's going to be a kind of makeshift balcony. And to complement the balcony, I'm going to dig in on the first floor slightly to make this kind of magnet shape. And you can see here the red brick roof reinforcing the idea that this is a kind of like 
a curved C-shaped house. Now with the roof on the second floor in place, I built up with pillars, sandstone, to create this kind of overhang balcony. Added some wooden half blocks and then connected the pillars to that balcony. And I had to toy around with this for a bit to get a kind of feel that I wanted to get the right design. And I added here like kind of like that donut shape just above the entrance to the manor itself, the entrance to the mansion. But before I finished the balcony and the, uh, and the fence around the edge of it, I went around and I toyed with the windows of the mansion. And you can see that lightning striking in the background. Then once I copied the windows in, I came around to the second floor, added these upside down wooden steps and the right way up stone brick steps for decoration to bridge the gap between the first and second floor. Then again, using sandstone steps to make these kind of weird T-shaped windows that I like for the mansions. And then once they were in place, I came back around to the balcony section and added what I was going to finish up with here. I used iron fence on the edge. Then I put in the flower boxes using those wooden hatches, the roses and the dirt. Then I came back around, put some flower beds around on the balcony. Added a door to get to the balcony. And then put in some hedges in the garden. And I thought I was finished here, but I wasn't quite. I came around to the underside of the balcony. Added some wooden blocks and some fences. But then also used some sandstone steps instead of sandstone blocks on the top rim of the balcony just to give it a bit more detail and make it look a bit more etched in. And there we go, the detail finished on the balcony and the second mansion of three is looking pretty good. So there we have it, the mansion on the corner and the other three mansions in the garden. And now it was time to come around to the last mansion here that we were going to kind of give a western feel to. So I went up another level with the dark stone or cracked stone brick. But unfortunately the, the wall here was a bit irregular. It wasn't quite symmetrical because of where the fence for the garden, the wall for the garden, actually intersects with the wall of the mansion. So I had to do some tinkering around and find out which was the center of the house. But once I had that in place, I put down two rough guide struts for where we were going to have two towers leaning up from this house. And then in between those two towers, I put down this red nether brick roofing. And then with that in place, I began to build up again these towers either side of the mansion. Now, originally these towers came right to the edge of the roof, but it's instead I decided to kind of dig them in slightly so that they'd be concealed fully by the roof. And then you see me here crafting this red nether brick, sharp, steeped roof, and then copy and pasting it over to the other tower. And now with those two in place, filling in the gaps in between with sandstone bricks and then filling in the red nether brick roof to complete the mansion effect. Now, as you can see here, the two windows on those towers are slightly irregular. One of them is slightly different to the other because I wasn't sh quite sure how I was going to do them both. So I did a design on each one and that's something I will come back to at the end to decide on what I want to kind of finish it up with. Right, so here we go as we fly through the river and through the trade district, through the shops and then down beneath this chasm, the catacombs, we come up and fly over the rich district of Dale. Pretty much complete now. Each one of these mansions slightly different, with a different take on how the build has been done, but each one of them looking rich and pretty swanky. These are pretty cool places to live, and if I was to live in Dale, I would definitely pick one of these glorious looking houses to make my home. No doubt the mayor and all the important people of Dale live in one of these houses. Look at that fantastic kind of worm reaching out of the floor, grabbing that diamond block. The two towers house with the two castles at the corner. The magnet house with the large balcony and of course the double reaching and my favorite 
mansion with the two peaked tall tower roofs. Now next episode we'll come over to this area here you see the kind of midway between the poor and the rich district and finish up those houses. I might be copy and pasting in some of the other houses, some of the richer houses and some of the poorer houses, but I don't know yet. I want to get this place done. So between now and next episode, you'll probably see the residential areas filled in and the decoration around the outside of Dale and on the inside of Dale complete. All those grass bits between the areas that look a bit kind of random at the moment and have wool and stuff inside them. I'm going to try and finish those up with some trees, some vegetation and some decoration. But that's it for this week's episode of Let's Build Erebor. Make sure you stay tuned because we are going to be picking up the pace. And next episode we should be hitting the Trade District once more. And maybe then after that we can get inside the actual mountain itself. So I've been Stjin and this has been Let's Build. Thanks for watching. Hit like and favorite and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.